you didn't stay up late on Monday night to witness the blood moon, you can still see it. That's because a Dallas photographer braved the cold for hours to get a time-lapse photo mm. that has since gone viral. Photographer Mike Mezuel joins us now. It's so cool to look at your picture. Uh, How thank did you. this happen? Uh, you know, it was something that I had planned out for uh, a couple weeks. You know, I'm a big sky nerd, so uh, when I heard that the lunar eclipse was happening, I uh, decided that I wanted to, you know, shoot it, obviously. Now, I read that you had gone out into a field of blue bonnets, and it was really cold that night, I remember, because I got up and turned the heater on, actually. It was on, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and so, like, were you sitting there expecting this massive thing to happen, or was it just like, oh, man, this is a yawner? You know, um, it was a little bit of both. You know, I was excited, but it took eight hours for the whole transition to basically happen to the sky. So as it started, it just creeped, and so I was sitting there, I was like, oh, man, is this really worth it? And then about 4.30 in the morning, I'm standing there frozen, and, you know, it was starting to get, like, moist outside, so it had, like, dew on me, and it got even colder, and I was hungry, and I was like, man, this isn't worth it. But stuck it out and uh, paid off. Let's talk so. technical stuff here, because we're looking at the photo right now, and we're seeing the entire time lapse with the beautiful colors right in the middle there. How did you technically develop this shot to get it to look like that? Well, it's, uh, you know, the shot, the initial shot, the foreground, is, uh, was all moonlit. So I did a, a 90 second exposure on my camera, which keeps the camera open for 90 seconds. And the moonlight actually lit everything there. And then- So have you touched those blue bonnets? No. Oh my gosh, No, that's, that's actually, the only post I really did was the transition in the sky and yeah. it brought some of the sky a little bit darker. It's gorgeous. But uh, the moon was a little bit higher up in the sky. So to create the composition, I brought it down okay. and I shot the moon with a telephoto lens and then this is about 15 layers of images all combined into one. So all of us think that we're these professional slash amateur photographers with our iPhones now. And if that was me going out there, I would have, you know, gotten down on the ground, gotten the moon <laughs> in the center of my iPhone camera, and, and it would have sucked. the blue bonnets <laughs> out. I would have left the blue bonnets out. It would have sucked. And, and all of us at home think that, you know, as we're taking pictures of our kids, yeah. that we can do this. So give us a tip or two in setting up composition, something that can help us take better iPhone photos, because that's all we use now yeah. for the most part nowadays. Because you are a photographer by trade. That's what you do for the observer. Is yes. that right? Yep. Okay. So um, you do this a lot. You got a lot of experience. He's a pro. Yeah. yeah, you know, I freelance and I also have my own photography company, so I shoot everything. And uh, but as far as composure, you know, don't just focus on your subject, bring some life to it. And that's what I wanted to do with this photo. You know, you see, you know, a ton of moon photos, you're like, oh, it's a moon. And right. you see one, you've seen them all. So I wanted to bring some life to it. And you know, I was like, why not? We're the reason for the lunar eclipse. You know, yeah. we're we're actually in the photo there, so why not include something from it's here gorgeous. in the shot. It's so. gorgeous. Okay, so tell us about how when you po you posted the picture. Yeah. This is a cute story. Yeah, you know, I posted it and I was talking to my buddy James Langford who was also out there with me. And uh, usually three o'clock in the afternoon is not necessarily the best time to post because most people are at work. But I had nothing else to do, so I uh, posted it. And uh, I was like, you know, I'm gonna go make a sandwich. <laughs> and James was like, man, you posted the wrong time of the day, you know. No one's right. gonna care. Yeah, Strategic exactly. Posting. exactly. Stood outside and froze yeah. for nothing. Yeah. So uh, about 15 minutes later, I came back, click refresh, expecting to hit, you know, maybe 20 likes on it, and I hit it, and it was like 2,000 shares. <laughs> and I, I literally dropped my sandwich on my bed, and I was just like, <laughs> no words, you know, jaw on the floor, and you could sit there and hit refresh, and it was just hundreds of shares like per minute. It's so, beautiful. Wow. So you posted no, it on you. Facebook, right? Yes. And how has yeah. your life changed? We got about 15 seconds here. Just, um, how has just, it changed since you've gone viral? It's been nuts. Print sales, uh, emails from. Singapore, Wales, all over the world, uh, people licensing the image. Uh, it's been pretty crazy. So at the end of the day, this is what counts. Mike, you're making cash off your awesome photo. Yep. Yeah. So yep. it was worth it to freeze in the blue bonnets on oh, Monday Oh, yeah, just night. a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. You can learn more about Mike Visual by going to our website, thebroadcasttv.com. Just click on today's links. All right, when we come back, we're taking a look at some cruelty-free beauty products that will also help you save money. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. I love you getting paid now. I oh, love yeah.